Welcome back to Bridge 4 Games, I'm Tom, and today we're going to cover one of the most fearsome Pokemon combinations in VGC, the dreaded Chansey Shuckle Super Duo. This combination can be extremely annoying to deal with if you're not aware of them, and if you've taken this team on without a good plan, you likely found yourself at the end of the match missing moves and unable to put down much damage on Chansey at all. In all likelihood, once it got set up, you probably scooped or wanted to. So we're going to break down today what is in this combination, how to run it, and what to do to prevent it. Let's start with Shuckle's stats first. And yes, you're reading these correctly. Shuckle is the most defensively bulky Pokemon in the game. The defense and special defense numbers are massive, and we'll come back to those later. It also has the ability Sturdy, which is a built-in Focus Sash, allowing it to live a one-hit KO with one HP to ensure that it gets its supportive move off. In combination with a Mental Herb to avoid Taunt, we have a very good chance at setting up our Chansey using Guard Split, Power Split, Toxic for some Poison, and Infestation. Now for Chansey. And you'll notice that other than the HP of 250, this Pokemon's stats look less than impressive. And a common question asked is, why use Chansey instead of Blissey? The answer is the same as why players opt for Dusclops over Dusk Noir. Being an unevolved Pokemon allows you to use the item Eviolite, which increases both your defense and special defense by 50%. And the ability Healer is really only useful some of the time because it heals allies status conditions sometimes really where the rubber meets the road is in the move set first we have seismic toss which is our damaging move and it's based on the user's level minimize is going to reduce our opponent's accuracy soft boil is going to allow us to get hp back and ally switch is just to be an extra pain in the ass to deal with so how do we use this combination well Unlike some strategies, the magic typically happens in the end game. Chansey and Shuckle are rarely led, and instead, they're brought in the back for once Dynamax is over, and sometimes when the first one to two Pokemon get knocked out from our party. The basic idea is that you want to utilize Shuckle to guard split and power split before it goes down, which will increase Chansey's defense stats. Power split will average Shuckle's amazing defense stat with Chansey's minimal defense stat, while Guard Split will do the same thing with the special defense. These moves compound with Eviolite's 50% increase to make Chansey's defenses completely out of control. Once Shuckle has set Chansey up in the end game, it's then really free to use Toxic to poison the opponents, effectively putting them on a timer. As well, Infestation can hit for additional chip damage. Now, while Shuckle is boosting Chansey's defense stats, let's talk about what Chansey's doing during those turns. The most important thing for Chansey to do is to keep itself alive while you're getting set up. There's going to be some judgment on the player's side as to the order of moves, which will vary depending on what Pokemon your opponent has. Chansey is going to be using Soft Boil to recover health and Minimize to raise its evasion. Once you have the stat boosts from Shuckle, your goal will be to alternate Soft Boiled to keep yourself healthy and minimize until your evasion is plus 6. Each minimize will reduce your opponent's accuracy by 2 stages. At 2 stages, your opponent's moves that are normally 100% will hit only 60% of the time. At 4 stages, that accuracy drops to 43%, and at 6 stages, your opponent's 100% accurate moves will only hit 33% of the time. When you're fully powered up, fully minimized, and healthy, then you're free to start taking knockouts with Seismic Toss. Now that we've broken down the Chansey Shuckle combination, how it works, and what you're going to see, let's talk about a couple tips if you see this on the ladder. If you're looking to beat the Chansey Shuckle combination, take a look at Heavy Slam. Because Heavy Slam is not impacted by your 
accuracy drops and therefore it's going to be a good consistent way to put damage down on the opponent's chancy seismic toss from the opponent's chancy which is pretty typical for it to be carried is not going to be able to hit ghost type pokemon so if you have a ghost in your party make sure to bring that ghost and preserve that for the end game third is that dynamax moves are always a hundred percent accurate and therefore a good way to try and rid yourself of that chancy before it sets up the fourth tip is to always have a calc for the chancy shuckle combination you may not see it all the time but you will see it out there and so it's really good to know whether your move set is going to be able to one hit two hit three hit or other KO your opponent's chancy shuckle combination. And the last tip is to try and take early KOs and commit to your plan. If you're able to disrupt the beginning stages of the game, then you're really going to rush the end game for your opponent. And once you have a plan in mind, stick to that plan. Things like Ally Switch and some of the gimmicks that are on this team are really meant to throw you off and they can send you to tilt town pretty quickly so once you commit to your plan stick with it and take them out rounding out this team is going to be indeedy hatterene lipard and porygon z this is to both preserve our dynamax turns through redirection and support and put down as much damage as possible with a life orb on hatterene and a silk scarf on Porygon Z. If you're interested in trying this team out, here is a rental with a full team breakdown and move list. We encourage you to use the rental code and leave us feedback on what we can improve, what you like about the team, and what you hate about the team. For Bridge 4 Games, I'm Tom, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.